Hi guys, I'm Ranger Rob and I'm doing a product review. Now I do several product reviews on things that we really like. Never have I ever done a review on something I don't like. Today is the exception. Um, for those of you that really need internet, um, I moved out to the country and was uh, exposed to a system called the GOT W3. Looks like this right here. <coughs> Take a good look at this. <clears throat> now, um, it's been four months and when we and one of the reasons I even bought a place out here in the country and I'm, I'm relating this to, to living in the country, being out in a rural area um, or traveling in an RV. <clears throat> so I'm covering all my platforms. Uh, I'm also the host of RV Talk Radio and Good Talk Radio. And I have run the Ranger Drive channel. And I review products all the time. So when I needed internet, um, where I'm located was uh, the only thing that was available was CenturyLink with a three megabyte, three, yes, three megabyte download, unacceptable. So a rep or, um, and a person who was a rep, this is not their fault. I'm, anything I talk about is the company. And so uh, anyway, so I signed up for this program through T-Mobile. And uh, it's $79 a month for their regular program. And they said uh, at the time that the, uh, they thought it was around 500, 600 gigabytes per month. And then you could be throttled a little, and uh, which is fine. I can be even throttled a little bit and still function. So during the summer, this um, worked really well. Um, I got about 12, uh, download speed and showing two to four sometime um, around there for upload acceptable for where I'm living and it would be probably acceptable if I was traveling again in full time in my RV so for $79 a month plus the setup of around 200 some odd dollars to get this router and a sim card um, off I went and we brought it into the household and it had good days and bad days. There was a few days where it was like not real well, but most of the time it was acceptable for what I do. I own a radio station, so I have files sent to me, typically around 59 megabytes. Um, I download and then a lot of times I upload to the cloud or to our radio station those files and I could have five to maybe 10 a day. Uh, weekends a lot lower. So um, I do probably use a little bit more bandwidth than most. So I would not be ex uh, um, surprised if I got throttled. So uh, anyway, so during this summer, uh, June, July, August, we've been chugging along pretty, pretty, not too bad. And suddenly in September 1st, something just shut down. I'm not, I'm not kidding you. I have internet still with this box, <clears throat> but it's like, and I'm not kidding at all. It's equivalent to AOL dial up. I, we cannot do our banking. We can, um, hardly watch a video. I cannot even function, um, as a radio station. I can't download. I can download, but it'll take all day for a 59 megabyte file. And I can't even upload them to our radio station. Totally crippled our company. And so, of course, I started, uh, I talked to the rep, not the company, the rep, and they, he was not informed that there was any changes. As we do dove in a little deeper, they were starting to say, tell him, well, because of COVID, so many more people are using the internet that um, it, it was an issue and they suggest I go to their urban plan, which is $99 a month. And they're suggesting I switch over to AT&T. Now I have not made that change yet, but my question to this is if anybody is signed up for this with T-Mobile, <clears throat> 
you're functioning just fine. And so, of course, when I uh, started notifying the company, um, I could I said, are you throttling us? Plain old. It, and it's like, it's OK if you're throttling us, if, but to AOL dial up speeds is unacceptable. And I could not get them to answer that. All they could suggest is, well, you should move up to the urban plan, which is ninety nine dollars. I was like, why? I was fine. Everything's chugging along. No problems. We've had absolutely no problems with billing. We've uh, not an issue whatsoever. And uh, so what I want to show you is one of the emails I got back. So for your uh, convenience, I've switched this to uh, uh, screen capture. And what I want you to see is the note I got back was T-Mobile has made some changes to their urban plan offering the, um, in order to accommodate their uh, customers. Um, at this point, they dropped down to uh, um, a smaller plan. And at this point, if the urban plan does not meet your needs, we suggest you uh, move to the rural plan for $99. And uh, so my question, first of all, is why didn't you notify us that you're doing such a change? And, and of course, they're not even, they won't tell me that they're throttling me. Um, and if they did, I wouldn't mind that until I'm, uh, uh, my next monthly payment came along. Um, but I'm, like I said, I'm at the rural plan, I guess. Um, and so anyway, so they gave us some suggestions of things I could do to my router to, uh, speed it up. And of course it did not work. So, uh, I wrote back saying, this is ridiculous. Um, I'm willing to move up, but I also talked to my rep, not the company, but a rep that s sells the service and they contacted, uh, the company and they said, well, you should probably move him to the AT&T plan. So in the meantime, I get another email. So of course I wrote back saying this is unacceptable. I'm running at AOL speeds. I don't mind being throttled, but this is to totally extreme. So the email I finally get back from them uh, after a long period of time, this is the speeds of your experiences are what you can expect from the urban plan in the foreseeable future. Okay, are you going to admit that you're throttling us? Um, we recommend you switch to the rural plan. Our customers currently have three options. Now get a load of this. Stay with the urban plan, switch to the rural plan, or find a different provider. What company would do that? That's why I'm making this video. And they did apologize for the frustration, but as a reality of the situation, are you kidding me? But oh, it doesn't stop there. I get another email yesterday and I need to share this with you also directly from the company that got, uh, W3 team, they send out a notice saying an upcoming price increase. Oh my gosh. We recently learned that each of our carriers is increasing their rates plans effective nine one. Oh really? So they raised the prices. Okay. That, okay. Um, so they said they're not going to make any changes till 10 one. Well, they made some changes. And so they're suggesting um, that they're uh, $79 a month. It's going to go up now $10. But if you leave and come back, you're ready to go up $30, like a little threat there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, however, if you opt to cancel your service, please understand that as far as the carriers are concerned, if you decide to re-sign up for got W3 after 10-1, uh, you will be a new customer and you'll actually be $30 higher. Then uh, they uh, suggest, because the extreme data dem uh, demands, that you could expect slower than usual speeds for the upcoming months. Moving forward, they're suggesting that you buy another unit. <laughs> so what was $79, they want you to go to the next plan up, which is 99, which now, 109 uh, as of October 1st, 
and then get another unit. So now you're at two hundred and twenty dollars. So this is not acceptable. And I don't usually like say make a video like this, but this is like unethical and and lacks moral because if your service decreases to your customers, first you should notify them, tell them why. Be honest if you're being throttled and say why, but you don't throttle them by 95%, maybe 10%, 15%. That is what my concern is here. Okay, so now you've seen what we've been up against. The representative who is not the company has not been told of any of these things. He finds out later after we start complaining. So I do not blame the reps not the rep of the companies, but the people that are affiliates that sell their services. <clears throat> but this is just wrong, totally wrong. Either tell the truth, don't tell people to double up, tell them this is what you expect from now on. When they sold a service to us that was perfectly fine, there was nothing wrong. And there was nothing wrong with throttling. I mean, I don't like it, but you don't throttle back from functional to non-functional AOL dial-up speeds. I recommend if you get the GOT W3, I cannot tell you if the AT&T is better. I have to order it. I have to. I can't function. My business, um, thank goodness Sherry's not working. Uh, my wife uh, isn't working virtual right now. Um, could you imagine having a job? that maybe is outside of your state and you're working virtual and someone company did this to you. Now my solution is I'm actually bringing in a satellite system, um, which is actually more affordable and I'm getting uh, better um, uh, 50 megabyte download. So I'm going to use VS, uh, um, VAT, VSAT, something like that. <laughs> anyway, I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't really want a satellite system, but I can't function. So in the meantime, I'm trying to get the AT&T rural card so I can at least function. And of course, they don't have the SIM cards locally in our area. And I've waited several days to get uh, having this new SIM card from AT&T. And of course, them raising the price of my monthly service so I can function until I get the satellite system in. <clears throat> so I ask you, consumers, how would you have felt about this when you had a service that worked great, just fine for, I mean, my expectations for being out in the country are not super high. So I was uh, tolerable to a slower internet, but to be slowed down so far that you can't even get onto your online banking, how would you feel? And when you're out in the country or RVing and traveling and need mobile internet, your, your choices are, li are limited. Uh, I could look at a more powerful router than the one that they provider, provided. If I spend maybe another $300, their SIM card would work in those. But why? Why would I have to do that when this worked fine for three months till September 1st, 2020? How would you feel if a company did that to you, probably the same way I feel. I feel like I've been scammed. I feel like a company has no morals or ethics and can provide less service, but yet charge you more. And then the customer service insults you by saying you either change to the next plan up because that's how it is or you need to go find another provider. I suggest you go find another provider. The AT, um, the T-Mobile got W3 um, system is not even functional enough to even do your normal personal day-to-day -day processes. I've tried every trick in the book. They've had me reboot my uh, <clears throat> my router you can go in and make some changes that they suggest does not work and if I was traveling and I was working virtually I'd be pretty irked 
So I do not recommend the GOT W3 with the provider of T-Mobile. And I will not do another video like this <clears throat> unless I find out the AT&T is just as much of a scam. But do not get this service. I'm warning you that it started out great. And even if you went over whatever their level of bandwidth is, if you get throttled, it's a throttle that is so severe you cannot function. So I'm sorry that I have to do a product review like this, but it needs to be heard and seen. And I know because of the RV industry, because of RV talk radio and people live out in the country and do homesteading, this would have been a service they would use. I do not recommend you use it now. I cannot comment on an AT&T program, but uh, if it's poor too, I'll put, I'll say something about that, but do not go with the T-Mobile system. You will be disappointed and you will find the customer service vague and rude. So thank you for listening. I hope this was helpful and it keeps you from buying a service that will not do what they say that it will do. <clears throat> However, the good thing is this is a month to month. Uh, program right now and you can uh, cancel at any time without being locked into a contract. Now I know why. So anyway guys, thank you and have a great day and thanks for listening. Bye now.